Hi guys and welcome back to another Fiction Food Friday here at Nikki Lee Bakes. Today we are making a very special gourmet dish inspired by my favorite Disney classic ever, Aladdin. Say what you wish, it's yours, true dish about a little more baklava. We're making baklava. So here's what you'll need. Genie. One 16 ounce package of phyllo dough, one pound combined of chopped pecans and walnuts, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one tablespoon of sugar, one cup of melted butter, three quarter cup of water, one cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a cup of honey, a nine by 13 inch pan, a pastry brush, and a damp paper towel. I've never ever made this before, so I found a recipe and just adapted it a little bit, but I think you guys will like it, even if you don't like nuts, because I don't even like nuts. I mean, technically speaking, I like nuts because I'm with Aladdin, whatever, but first thing to do is cook up our glaze. So grab yourself a pan, your water, and your one cup of sugar. You're gonna mix the two together and boil it until all the sugar is dissolved. Then mix in your honey and your vanilla extract, and then let the mixture simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then set it aside to cool. In the meantime, we'll roast our nuts, and I threw mine in the food processor for a little bit just to make them a little less chunky and a little more fine. You wanna spread them out onto a cookie sheet and sprinkle them with the cinnamon and your one tablespoon of sugar. Mix it up, then stick it in the oven at 350 for about eight minutes, stirring once in between, and then set those aside to cool. Now we assemble the layers, and there are a lot of layers. For this part, you need your pan, your phyllo dough, melted butter, nuts, pastry brush, and your damp paper towel. First, make sure your pan is buttered really well all over the bottom and the edges. Then unroll your package of dough and cut off the end of it to fit the size of your pan. Now each layer is going to use two sheets, so you wanna peel off two sheets every time you put a new layer on. Place them right at the bottom of the pan, but when you're not using the dough, make sure that you take your damp paper towel and place it over the top of it so that it doesn't dry out. Then use your pastry brush to spread some butter on top of the layers. Make sure to cover the surface really, really well. Then add another two layers, add butter, and repeat this until you've layered eight total sheets, so four layers overall. Now add your butter to the top of that eighth sheet, sprinkle on three tablespoons of the nut mixture, and add two more layers, add butter, and add nuts again, and this time repeat the nut layering step until there are only eight sheets of dough left. And you should end up using both packages of dough. And then once you finally do have only eight left, layer them the way you did in the beginning, two at a time with butter in between. Abu, what are you doing? Once you've made it to the final layer, make sure that the top is buttered and then stick it in the freezer for 20 minutes. That step is gonna help us cut it up before we put it in the oven. And we're gonna cut them up into triangles like the genie did. It's about a little more baklava. Now, if it's nice and cold, grab a sharp knife and I'll show you a trick to cut it up. Make two even lines horizontally across the pan and then three even lines vertically. If you want smaller triangles, add an extra line on each side. Now you'll notice you have some rectangles. If you cut a rectangle diagonally, you get two triangles. Eh? So cut those up and then it's ready to bake. Stick it in the oven at 325 for 48 to 50 minutes. It should be a nice golden brown once it's done. Now immediately after taking it out of the oven, grab your honey mixture and a spoon and start drizzling it on top. Just make sure that the mixture is cooled all the way first, which by this time it should be. And as you're pouring it over, it might feel like you're putting a lot on, but you're really not. And be sure to cover the whole entire surface. Then leave the baklava uncovered and let it cool. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Nikki Lee Bakes. Leave a comment and let me know what other fiction foods I should make. And I will see you guys next time. Jeannie? Jeannie, where are you? Uh -huh. Hey, I'm a free man. I said I'm free, you crazy lady. Get over here.